50 years ago this week, America landed two men on the moon. Mm -hmm. Buzz Aldrin in the far side, yep. Neil Armstrong on the shaky near side here. <laughs> what a moment it was, and it was groundbreaking in every way conceivable for science and technology. Our sister station in Washington, D.C. got to take a behind the scenes look at some of the items which helped make the science fiction fantasy become real history in the United States. All engine running. Lift off. We have a lift off. 32 minutes past the hour. It was the final frontier and probably the hardest thing America had ever pulled off. That's one small step for man. So how they accomplished this feat of engineering 50 years ago? To find out, I went down to the Air and Space Museum to ask some tough questions. People always ask, how do you go to the bathroom in space? Bodily, Bodily functions no are, are they're a difficult problem, and uh, they, they pursue lots of different solutions to them. OK, I didn't just ask about that. I was able to get a close-up look at some of the equipment which made the Apollo 11 mission possible. Michael Collins' spacesuit, Buzz Aldrin's Snoopy cap, and Neil Armstrong's gloves. These now delicate objects, which are being restored, were once the only thing protecting our astronauts from the harsh landscape of space. How safe do you think it really was? The astronauts with um, Apollo 11 said there was a 50-50 chance it was going to work. They were very vulnerable that whole time. Things could have gone wrong at, at any moment in the mission. Remember, this had never been done before. So in the eight years after President Kennedy announced his plans to land on the moon, NASA had to come up with some pretty MacGyver solutions to some pretty tricky problems. What they did and what they do today is really ingenious. And it paid off. A man is only as good as his tools. And these ones, made of lightweight fabric and glue, were enough to send our boys up and get them home safely. The mission to the moon faced harsh criticism from well-known Atlanta civil rights leaders. Coming up at 6, a look at who was protesting it and why.